Thought I'd please welcome Chris Garcia. Thanks, everybody. Uh, keep it going for all the other storytellers and that beautiful last story that we heard. I feel like I'm going to cry. Um, it's a wonderful story. Uh, my story is about... Um, I, uh, a couple years ago, I was asked to perform at South by Southwest. And I was very excited because the first time I've ever performed outside of the West Coast. And it's South by, and it was the biggest thing I had done at the time. And so I was so excited until I get to Austin, and all of a sudden, I'm overwhelmed. And like, I get, it's, a hundred, it's like hundreds of thousands of people in this small city, all wasted, all younger than me. I felt like, it made me feel anxious. And like, I usually don't feel anxious. Like, things that make me feel anxious are like uh, shazamming a song in time uh, before it ends. You know, I'm always like, where the fuck, where the fuck is my phone? Why the fuck do I have a password on this thing? Fuck! Ah, shit, I knew it's off! That makes me feel anxious. And then, uh, sometimes, like, talking to someone that's more anxious than me, make me makes me feel anxious. I don't know if you ever encounter someone that is more anxious and they re-gift it, you know, where you're like, hey, how are you? And they're like, ah, and you're like, fuck! Uh, that does it. But all of a sudden, I was at South By, and I was like, ah! I was just like, I felt like I was walking the opposite direction as everyone at the, like, I was just like, oh, God! Like, I was, I felt old, I felt gross. There's all these, like, high school girls with, like, Navajo face paint and weird wolf hats on. And I was upset. I was like, is there a fucking Forever 21 built on an Indian, twin, uh, on an Indian burial ground that I didn't know about in history class? And, like, and I thought I was going to good shows. And I thought I was like, oh, this is a good one. And then someone was like, oh, where were you just at? I was like, oh, I was watching this band. You're like, oh, you missed it. And I missed every show. And there's shows everywhere. And I'm like, my, I'm overwhelmed. I'm like, I'm like, oh, wow, there's a show under the mic stand. Missed that one. Oh, there's a show on the 12th fret of this bass guitar. Oh, look, there's a drum pad show. Uh, Sonic Youth played. I thought Sonic Youth broke up. No, they got remarried in a violin store parking lot. And they played a show inside of an igloo cooler. So I was, hey, I was, Aah! so at a certain point, I, I, I did my shows and I refused to go out. And when I went, uh, it happened to be uh, St. Patrick's Day on a Saturday at South by Southwest. So there was green barf on the street by noon. And I'm hungover and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to, I'm, fuck you, South by. Like, I felt like it was per personally attacking me. So I stay in this hotel room all day. And I hear the, like, weird, like, I just, the, all the music starts to blend. And I'm like, ah! And so I stay in this hotel room until about midnight. And I saw, I was like, <laughs> this is really pathetic, but I was looking at Facebook and I read an inspirational quote. <laughs> and, I, and I'm always like, oh, that's so stupid. I was like, yeah! You're right, Facebook! That's how alone I felt. <laughs> that this, I forgot the quote, but I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm only here for a couple more days. I'm gonna fucking do this. So um, this was my, I'm not good at plans, uh, but this was my plan. I had an Adderall. <laughs> Gotta stay up, you know? And then I had three Long Island iced teas at the TGI Fridays in the hotel. That was my, that's as far as the plan went. But then I just start, I'm like walking and I'm like, oh no! And I'm like, I'm starting to get really nervous in this way where I'm like, I'm sweating. It's like the Adderall, but I have to like stay on point where I'm like, okay, Walk, okay, turn, okay, drink some water. I just felt like that crazy Adderall, and I haven't done a lot, but I was like, I'm a robot, blah, 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 next task, next task. And the only task was like doing a frogger move through this entire city, and I started to get very nervous. And I'm, I have three Long Island, Long Island iced teas, so the Adderall is like, do this, and the, oh, <laughs> at the same time. 
Like, I felt like if I would have blacked out from the drinking, I would have kept on talking and thinking from the Adderall. I was in this weird space. And so all of a sudden, I get so nervous that I have to poo. I get that, I get the nervous poos. That's the thing about me. I get like, Aah! and so, and so I'm like, okay, but there's nowhere to poo. You can't dive in a fuck. you can't shit in a, like a shitty Austin dive bar during South by. It's disgusting. Everyone's doing cocaine and like, you just can't do it. And so I'm just like, I'm at this point where I'm like Charlie Chaplining around Austin. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. And I'm just like hopscotching around barf and all this stuff. And finally, I'm like, okay, hotel. There's a hotel right there. So I'm like, I'm going to go to this hotel and I'm going to poo in their lobby bathroom. Okay. So I go into the bathroom and I, uh, there's one toilet stall. And I'm like, okay, yank. It's not, it's not opening. I knock. I'm just like, yeah! I knock. No, no sound. No like, <clears throat> or no like, uh, one minute, or like whatever your move is. Some people are confident like, hey, yeah, but nothing. And so, yank again, nothing. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to look under. I'm going to look under. I'm going to risk it all. I'm going to risk everything. And so I'm like, I've never done yoga, but I think this is what it's like. <laughs> I'm like breathing and trying not to shit myself. I, that's what yoga is to me. And I'm like, Aah! and eventually I'm like a little fat kid in a like little league picture. That's the squat that I'm in. And then I look under. No feet. There's no feet. I wasn't going to crawl under. So I get back, uh, risking it back up. Very scared. And so I keep on, uh, I keep, I like yank and like yank again. And eventually I yank so hard that the door starts to bend. And I look, I look, that's all I got. I look, and this is what I see. Uh, okay, uh, okay. This is what I see. I see a tiny Japanese man shitting like this. <laughs> Not reacting. Both legs up in the air. Like it's some weird yoga for like a busy guy that doesn't have time. Like, he just has to shit and do yoga at the same time. He's just like, Aah! And I ran, and I found a place to go. And that sums up South By for me. That's, and I don't like it. And then I get, I leave South By, I'm like, I don't think it's for me. Not my thing. I get a call. Hey, would you do this festival in San Francisco? It's a music festival. They're starting to have comedy. And I'm like, no, no gracias. It pays $1,000. What's the date? <laughs> so I go and I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this. I get there, same situation. Where I'm like, uh, uh. we get these passes where we get like VIP passes. I decide to uh, drink my way through this because we get, we get to drink anywhere we want with these badges. So my plan, I was like, okay, I'm going to drink until I feel like a million Fonzies and I'm going to go out there and I'm going to enjoy this. Okay, so I drink and I drink and I drink and I'm like, okay, I'm feeling good. But then I just start going to, from backstage area to backstage area, like avoiding the crowds. And in the main stage, there was like a little bit of a lull and there's someone right backstage, right where I am, and the only person there it's uh, Kirk Hammett from Metallica. And I'm wasted. And I'm like, let's catch up. <laughs> Probably wants to chop it up, see what I've been into, like what open mics I've been doing recently. Uh, 
So I'm like, let's do this, Kirk Hammett. And I'm drunk. And so I like start walking towards him, like all cool. And this is how I, I, I articulate how I was feeling. There was like a big jump between my thought and my feelings and how it came out. And I'm just like, yeah! Best band of all time! Red Hot Chili Peppers! <laughs> I drank myself into being a total asshole. And I was like, wow, cool it, Chris. You can't, that's, you can't, don't, don't be an ass. And I'm like, okay, okay, but I'm here for three more days. I can't stop drinking. I'll start smoking pot. That didn't help. Start drinking water. And I was like, I have to get through this somehow. So my plan at that moment was like, I'm gonna eat a bunch of mushrooms and go see Neil Young. I love Neil Young. I think this is a wonderful idea. It's a terrible idea because Neil Young is not young anymore. He's old and when you're on mushrooms, it's terrifying. And it's too, I'm like standing in the front, like corner area, there's like this special area. So I see Neil Young in person and then a giant Neil Young on the Jumbotron. And I'm not sure whether I'm projecting that or not at this point, I'm in the spirit world. And it's terrifying, he's so scary. Neil Young comes, I don't know if you've seen Neil, I love Neil Young so much. I haven't seen him in concert for a long time, but he's old and he comes out and he's just like, He looks like a fish at the bottom of the ocean. He is so old. Like old Chinese ladies are like, that guy's old. That guy's very, very old. He looks like a ghost in a flannel shirt. And I'm dying in my brain. And he's just like, ah. And he plays, he doesn't play guitar like this. He plays like this. Like he's like hacking into, he looks like this crazy libertarian that's trying to like unlock these secrets. And I want to know the secrets. And he's just like, ah! <laughs> he's playing all his hits, and I love it. He's playing all these jams, and then halfway through it, he's like, hey, uh, you guys want to hear a new song? And everyone in the crowd's like, no! <laughs> you know, pay like $200 for a badge to see a new Neil Young song. You know, play Heart of Gold, asshole. <laughs> but... So he goes into this song, it's half an hour long, and it's mostly whistling. <laughs> and a little bit of harmonica, and it's one line of lyrics. It's just one, it's one sentence. Uh, I'll try to do it. Uh, it this is, this is, it's on his new album. <laughs> and it, the song went like this, he goes, uh, I wanna be a giant on the land. Ah! I wanna be a giant on the land. Yeah! And I'm like, oh! Me, I wanna be a giant. Oh! I'm like flipping out. He turns around and he faces like his amp. This humongous amp. And he takes his big Les Paul guitar and he starts grinding against the amp. And he's just like... <laughs> all this feedback. <laughs> and he starts banging on his guitar. And I'm like, no! Please! My brain is melting. And he keeps on playing the song. He's like, I wanna... Be a giant on the land. I wanna be a giant on the land. Yeah! I wanna, I wanna be a giant on the land. And then he goes, giant, 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 giant. giant. Giant, 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 giant. And for a second, I think everyone in the crowd was like, holy shit, is Neil Young stuck right now? <laughs> is he so old that we have to reboot Neil Young? 
Has he become like this giant? Do we have to control alt delete Neil Young right now? And he ended, and it was great. I really liked it. Shrooms last for hours. So then I go see Skrillex. Bad news, because now I love Skrillex. And then I try to do my set, still on mushrooms, and I couldn't look anywhere. I would look at the crowd, and I, I told them I was on mushrooms, and they thought it was a joke. I'm like, no! Stop it with your faces! Stop it! Your faces! There was an exit sign, in and I was like, no! I just like looked around, everything was like green, like brrrr. Then I closed my eyes, this is the last thing I remember about that set. I closed my eyes and I went, oh, no! Blood swamp! Blood swamp! Because I saw these skulls floating in blood. And that was the last festival I performed at, everybody. Uh, Thanks so much for listening to my story. You guys have been so great. Thank you. That's Chris Garcia.